Hey, this is Barrett from PortaKeeper, and today I am going to show you how to install your PortaKeeper products. When you open up your mail, you'll receive a package that looks something like this, and in the back you will receive two large command strips for every product purchased. Today I'm installing a Type 1 black. So I already have one open off the side, and it has the smooth back. I recommend taking two command strips. I usually like to pull them apart and I use scissors to cut the tails off the bottom. Don't worry, I'm going to show you a trick how to remove these without the tail. So now you have your two command strips and I like to peel the side that says command. Don't, don't peel the side that says to the wall and place it on the back of the Porta Keeper. So now they're affixed to the back like so. Next, peel off the next layers of tape that says this side to the wall. And I like to place it against the wall, line it up, and if you just barely touch it to the wall, you can usually get it to where it's just barely sticking, but it's not, not totally stuck yet. Make sure that it's totally level. You can use a level to do this. And then I like to hold for approximately 30 seconds. You don't need to put your full weight into this, but put a fair amount of weight and you will get the best adhesion to the wall with your command strips. Once it's set up, I usually recommend a little bit longer. I like to let it set for at least an hour. You're ready to go. So next, let's take a look at the tamper keeper. I like to leave the strips together on this one. And what I do is I cut the tabs off, same as before. And I like to notch the tops. So then peel off the same red command side, not the wall side, and place on the back of the tamper keeper. From there, peel off the next layer and line it up similar to before. Hold it down for a minute. and place your tamper in place. It's as simple as that. It took me about two minutes to install both of these. I could probably do it quite a bit quicker without a camera. Uh, one more thing that I wanna show you is a quick trick. I don't like to see the tabs hanging out the bottom. So let's say you're moving to a new house, you bought a new espresso machine and you got a new, new style of machine. You might need a different porter keeper. So go to your bathroom and find some dental floss. Pull out, well, give yourself plenty of room, 18 inches or so. And wrap it in your fingers like you would be flossing your teeth. And you can actually saw that plastic off. Now it does leave this residue, but it works just like the command strip with the tabs. You, you might have to pick at it with your finger a little bit, but it pulls right off. So if you ever need to replace your command strips, I recommend using two of the large command strips. They're designed to hold eight pounds a piece or a combined amount of 16 pounds. You don't really need the full weight, but this is a pretty heavy piece, so if you're slamming it in real hard or something, you don't want it falling off the wall, maybe falling onto some expensive tile or an expensive countertop. So I recommend using them both. Command strips are pretty cheap to replace if you ever need to. Let me know if you have any questions on installing your product. Thanks again.